Good afternoon and welcome to Integrity Cells and Service. Folks, this afternoon I'm going to give you another nice, vivid, bright, detailed video of a freshly completed 2011 Integrity 33 by 102 Hopper Bottom Grain Trailer. Folks, what you're about to witness here is an absolute specially built unit. This sucker is built from all 409 stainless steel material. Every piece of sheet metal, front, back, sidewalls, hoppers and slopes, the floor panels over the wheels are all made of 409 stainless steel. You buy this trailer and you're going to be able to hand it down to your grandchildren without a doubt. Now folks, what we're going to do is start right here at the front of the trailer. I'm going to let you take a nice close look. You can see it's built with standard equipment with ladders front and back. We have the sealed beam light and wiring plug system. And at this point, I'm going to drop down below and I'm going to show you what I'm talking about, floors over the wheels. Now folks, if you look at most competitor trailers, you're going to find that these are open underneath here and you see all of them die in the front and back eight feet. Folks, it's simple. You throw all the crud from the road up under your slopes and you're going to kill your trailer for sure. Put the floors in it and the problem is eliminated. Let's continue down the sidewall, folks. You can see every panel is cut butted up and inserted and solid welded. There is no overlapping of steel on this trailer anywhere. Therefore, the rust joints are all eliminated. Take a look for yourself. Now let's drop one down. You can see we have heavy duty two speed landing gears. And folks, this trailer is equipped with hopper door openers on the driver and passenger side. Also, there are cranks on both sides. However, the door locks are only on the driver's side so that you can come out, and flip your locks open, and crank it from either side. Now, we'll back off and show you we have nice side windows, upper and lower. And folks, the reason we have four of them is there is a center divider in this trailer. You're looking at another time-tested design proven hopper system. Folks, this is one long hopper with two doors that open away from each other at the center point and it has a full center divider from top to bottom. This trailer will hold approximately 1,200 bushels of beans. Folks, it is a nice big heavy duty trailer. You can haul fertilizer or any commodities you want in this trailer. Take a look for yourself. You can see it stands up nice and tall. With that, I'm going to walk up close and let you have a look in the actual side windows and you can see the actual hopper door right there. Let's go ahead and we're going to continue our way to the back of the trailer. I'm going to let you have a nice view of the floor panels over the wheels above the tandem in the back. Now just take a look. All this is closed up over the wheels. No crud going up in here. Take a look at these nice 11245 tires. You can see we have a very late model, totally rebuilt air ride suspension, all new hoses, valves, chambers, all new airbags, brake shoes. Folks, it is very, very much like brand new. Everything on this trailer is new except for the rebuilt air ride tandem. Folks, let's continue now and come on around to the back of the trailer. I'm going to give you a nice view looking forward and I'm going to let you gaze at this a moment. And now next what we're going to do is explain the back of this trailer. Folks, this is a custom built special design trailer for those of you that want to be able to haul cargo in the back under the rear slope. Instead of having a dead wasted space, there's absolutely space for you to put in two totes or two skids of whatever you may want to haul. Now, next what we're going to do is I'm going to have Larry open up the crank lock roll tarp for us and we'll see how nice that operates. So here we go. He's going to grab the handle, unlock it, and roll it all the way open. And then we're going to leave it hang in the open position so that I can get you a nice video of the inside of the trailer as well. Now look at that effortless crank lock tarp system. Stand right there and just whip it open. Anybody can do it. Now, I'm going to head up the ladder, so come along for the ride. Okay, folks, now that we've safely arrived at the top, I want you to take a look at the specially siding down these top rails. Now look how straight those suckers are. The other thing I want to really point out to you that I can't stress enough is take a look at how these tarp bows are built. Folks, these are not your typical tarp hoops that hold up the tarp and shed water. These tarp bows actually possess a major, major part of trailer strength. They're built like a truss in a building system, and they only not only shed water, but they hold the sidewalls together. With this system, you simply can't 
break the trailer. Now take a look at the nice steep slope we have in the hoppers. We have steps going down the slopes. There you can see the center divider going from top to bottom. Folks, this sucker will hold, again, approximately 600 bushels in each compartment. With that, we're going to get down off the ladder. Okay, folks, now that we've arrived safely at the bottom, we're going to have Larry open the other cargo door for us, and we'll give you a look at the inside of this trailer. Okay, let's walk up close, and real quickly, you can get the impression that this is a special custom-built unit. The floor steps down in the back. You can see our braces under the slopes are far enough forward that you can absolutely slide two skids in here. Any forklift can just bring them up here and pop them in, close the doors, and the way you go. So whether you want to haul chemicals or bag product, you can stick it in the back and lock her shut. Folks, with that, I'm going to show you all of our LED light panel systems across the back. The trailer has all LED lighting. And let's just pop down here and let you have a look at the suspension from this perspective. Here you again, you can take a look and see the evidence of all the new components we previously spoke about. And again, everything on the trailer is brand new except for the rebuilt air ride tandem. Okay, folks, with that, we're going to continue on up the driver's side of the trailer. And the first thing I'm going to point out to you is, again, you can see that the 24-5 rims and everything look absolutely brand new. And the tread on these tires is somewhere around the 70-80% range. Take a look, you can see we have our load charts on here. And folks, in this box here, we have the suspension dump valve. So if you're going to unload at a pit where it's all going to come out in seconds, you just open this little door, pull the valve, and dump the suspension so that you don't stretch your airbags. Folks, now we're going to come on up and let you have a look at the crank hopper door openers on the driver's side. Now, as you can see, we got dual door openers. And we also have sight glasses, high and low, on both sides. You can also see there that we have the aluminum paint guards all the way along the top. And that's so that when the tarp comes over, it bounces off of those instead of taking the paint off the side of the trailer. Another time-tested design. Now, what we're going to do next is I'm going to have Larry come up here and show you how nice these actual hopper doors open and close for you. So, we're going to have him grab the crank. I'm going to walk up close. And I'm going to show you how the door lock system works. So he's going to pull the crank out, flip the latch up. That's the safety latch so that they can't vibrate open. Now, this is what I want you to pay attention to. Look how effortlessly he cranks that with one hand. Take a look. One little pinky finger in that sucker and look at her come out. I'm telling you, you are up witnessing our time-tested door design with a double-track rack and pinion system. I'm going to get down underneath and let you have a look for yourself. Now what we have on our door systems, folks, is a double track rack and pinion gear driven door system. Literally, you cannot strip a gear short of busting it. It's pinched together and molded in such a way that it has to open and close. Just take a look for you. This is the same door system that we have built since 1982, and we're not about to change it because it just works flawlessly. With that, Larry's going to put the door closed again. We're going to continue on up the side of the trailer. I'm going to take just a moment again to stress the importance of all solid welded construction around all the angles and everything. And these knock rails, folks, are quarter inch material and they just butt up against. There is not an angle iron laying against the steel to rust out. They will not rust out around the inside of the hopper like you've seen so many of them in the past. So I appreciate you taking time to watch the video that brings us back around to the front where we started. I'm going to let you have a very nice look at the passenger side. And with that, I'm going to wrap the video up by saying thank you for shopping Integrity Sales and Service. Please give us a call at 260-238-5000 or visit our website at www.99trucks.com or if you want to just look at the trailers, you can go www.99trailers.com. That's the two number nines and the word trailers with an S on it, dot com. And remember, we also sell lots of day cab trucks to go with the trailers. You can take a look here and you can see we have many, many nice trucks in stock. Just go ahead and pick up the phone and give us a call. We're here to serve your needs and thank you again for shopping Integrity Sales and Service.